Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Windows 11 build 23493, which is the latest build of Microsoft Windows 11 preview. This video is jam-packed with a bunch of new features, including the Windows AI Copilot integration, which is something I'm very excited to take a look at for the first time and see how well does this actually integrate with Windows and what can it do for us. But of course, we'll be going over all the features inside of this new build. So skipping over Copilot, because we'll come back to that at the end, the first major change is the settings app. The settings app has been redesigned. I'm really not sure if I like this or not. There are new tiles on the settings page instead of having that list. Um, but of course, if you go to system, here's that list that you're used to. It's just the home page that has been changed. Um, also, you can see your network connection here for the first time, as well as Windows Update, things like that. These are just kind of quick settings here. I really can't tell you, like I said, I don't know if I like these or not, but they're interesting to say the least. There's new support for different file formats. So for example, based on the libarchive open source project, the following extensions will actually be openable inside of File Explorer. tar, tar.gz, tar.bz2, tar.zst, zar.xz, tar.tgz, .tbz2, .tzst, .txz, .rar, and .7z. Basically eliminating the need for WinRAR and 7-zip. So this makes me wonder, what is the future of WinRAR and 7-zip like? There is a new volume mixer in quick settings, so if we go ahead and click on the volume mixer, we can see that this looks a little different. I believe if we open Microsoft Edge, we should, in theory, under volume mixer, get an option for just the volume inside of Microsoft Edge. So we can have our system volume be 78, but then our Microsoft Edge volume be 100. For example, kind of like what we'd see here. There are new natural voices in Japanese and English that allow narrator users to comfortably browse the web, read, and write emails. That is something I have never used, but I believe that is something that is definitely useful for some people out there. Microsoft is listening to suggestions in snap layouts that will allow you to instantly snap multiple windows together. So when you hover, when you hover over the maximize button, as we know, it brings up this menu. However, Microsoft is starting to roll out in the dev channel um, a new thing where you'll see app icons displayed in various layout options in this menu right here. So for example, you might have the OneNote logo here, Edge, and File Explorer if those are the three apps you'll have open. I think that's pretty cool that it kind of would use probably AI to detect where you want those windows to go. Not entirely sure how accurate it's going to be, but that is something very interesting I figured out. And of course, there are a lot of other just general bug fixes in the OS. But now it's time to take a look at the actual important thing, the thing I am most excited about, Copilot. Just straight off the bat, it kind of looks like the new Office logo. Now this, this OS doesn't actually have the updated Office, but it kind of looks like that except it's blue. So let's go ahead and click on it, and it comes up on the side. Now when you open Copilot, it actually moves over um, your watermark down here, as well as any icons, I believe. So if I were to create just a new folder called whatever that says, and I would have put it right here, and then I open Copilot, it moves everything over. Now this is Copilot with it being chat. And of course right now this is still in beta, so it's going to be a little interesting and it's going to be different. We'll, we'll go with that. So some things that it can initially do, for example, uh, let's say turn on dark mode. And it might take a little bit of time, but then we can change our system to dark mode. Another thing it can do is, let's say we want to, for those people who don't know how to take a screenshot on Windows 11, we can say, take a screenshot. And then give it a little bit of time, and it will take a screenshot of our desktop. Or it will open Snipping Tool, where we can then take a screenshot. Um, another example of things that it could do is if we want to, you know, anything that you would see inside of Bing Chat. So if we want to like write a story about Windows 11, it'll write a story based on you know whatever Bing Chat would do. Of course, this is a preview, so things will get better as time goes on. So if, you know it's not going to be as accurate as you'd like it to be. I see this being more of an, a cool feature at first, but then it becomes an annoyance. But for things you don't know how to do, like if there's a setting you don't know how to fix or a setting you don't know how to change or you know don't know how to take a screenshot, having this to interact with the system will actually be so, so good 
for those users who don't know how to do that. They can just type what they want and it will go ahead and send it straight to the machine, which is something that I'm most excited about. What I do see what I do see autopilot used for a lot would be the office integration. I'm really not sure if it's there yet because I don't have office on this computer. But you know, using it for things like Excel formulas or, you know, autofilling stuff in Word, I can see that being a huge benefit for those professionals who use those apps. The one thing that I do want to see though is so when we're active inside a Microsoft Edge tab, can I go in here and say summarize this Edge tab? Maybe that's not what I should say. Okay. Allow AI powered. So we have to give it access to our current active edge tab. And then it should, in theory, summarize what we're reading in Microsoft Edge, which I think is pretty cool that it can access that. Another question would be, would this be able to access things like Chrome or Firefox or other apps as developers would integrate that those APIs? So with that being said, this was just a brief overview of Windows 11 build 23493. Definitely an interesting build to say the least, and I'm very excited to see how this AI integration moves forward. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.